All right, uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It is your favorite tutor, Mr. Sajwayo. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, we are looking at number patterns for grade 11, and we are trying to, uh, you know, to attempt this Houting uh, paper, right, which was written in the year 2023, right? This was the final year exam when it comes to number patterns, right? We are trying to find out in terms of how do we go about whenever we want to solve such questions, right? Now, firstly, uh, what is it that you are going to do now from here? They want us to determine in terms of uh, the total figure of, uh, what the total number of squares in figure number, what in figure number five, right? So what is it that you are going to do now from here? For an example, can you see that here, you are only having one square, right? Now here, can you see that you're having one, this is two, this is three, this is four, which means here, here it is one square, here this is four square. If you can start even here, this is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So which means this is nine. Oh, it's okay. So now they want us to determine what is going to be the 25th uh, now figure, right? If I am not mistaken, right, can you see that here it is, uh, increasing in terms of what this is increasing in terms of square, right? Right, this is in terms of square, which means now if we are looking for figure number five, right? So which means this is same as five squared, which is this is same as what? This is going to be same as 25. Oh, it's again, right? So basically now that's what you're going to have, right? Now let's look at then uh here. Now they are looking for the number of dots, right? Now, how can you go about in finding the number of dots? Look at the first one, right? Now, the first one, you are having how many dots? Here, you are having four dots, right? Now, the second one, you're having how many? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? This is same as nine dots. Now, the third one is having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? So this is sixteen, right? And then now, I want us to look at something. Can you see then now, they are saying how many dots are going to be in figure seven, right? Now, can you see that here, the numbers are still continuing, but now this is set for number one, right? Can you see that this is for number one, right? This is for number one. This is for number two. This is for number three, right? So which means now, if I can, for an example, continue here, can you see that these pattern is still continuing in terms of our square numbers, right? So which means the next number here, it's going to be 25. The next number, it's going to be 36. The next number, it's going to be, uh, I think this is 49. And then the, or rather 49 or 47, I think this is 49, yes. And then the next number, it's going to be 64, right? So which means the 64, right? By just merely looking, this is same as fourth term the fifth term, the sixth term, and also the seventh term, right? Which means now this is going to be the seventh term. Oh, it's again. So which means now the dots, the number of dots in the seventh term, they are going to be, they are going to be what? These are going to be 64 dots that are going to be found in there, right? Now let's look at 4.1.3. Now they say, consider the nth term, show that the expression of the number of dots can be written in terms of n plus one squared, right? Now, how do we then, you know, go about doing such question, right? Now, I want us to look at something here. Now, if I can, uh, you know, for an example, start here. What is it then that I'm going to do? Let me find out the general pattern of these, right? Now, what is going to be the general pattern of this? Remember, this is 4, this is 9, this is 16, this is 25, right? Now, let's see. When I subtract here, when I say this, this is going to be same as 5. When I say 16, subtract uh, 9, this is same as 7. When I say, uh, for an example, 25, subtract 16, this is same as 9, right? And the difference here, it's still 2. The difference here, it's still 2. All together. So, which means then now, I can start now and look in terms of what is going to be the nth term of the sequence, right? How do I look for the nth term? Remember now, I equate my second difference by what? By 2a. And I request, I, I rather, you know, uh, then equate my uh, first difference with 3a plus b. And then my first term, it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, equated by a plus b plus c, right? 
which is going to be cos to the x, right? Now we can start by solving then here. For an example, if you are going to start with your a, what is it that you're going to have here, right? So if, let's say, for an example, you're starting with your a, can you see that you're having 2a is equal to 2, which means the value of your a that you're going to have, it's 4. It's, it's 1, rather, right? Then when you're moving swiftly along, you're having 3a plus b, which is equal to 5. Right now, the A, we already know that this is 1 plus B, which is equal to 5, which means now the value of your B, uh, now the value of your B, now this is going to be same as what? Now the value of your B here, it's going to be same as 2, if I'm not mistaken again, right? And then if you are looking for the value of your C, this is A plus B plus C is equal to 4. And then what is it that you're going to have here? Now for your A, this is going to be same as 1, right? For your B, uh, right, this is given by what? Plus 2 plus C is a cost to 4, right? So which means then the value of your C that you are having here, the value of your C that you are having here, it is given uh, it is given by what? This is given by 1. Oh, it's okay. Then which means now if I'm writing in terms of TN, this is TN AN squared plus BN plus C. And then now what is the A here? Right now, the A, it is given by 1, which means this is the same as N squared. Now, the B, it is given by uh, by 2N, and then the C is given by 1. Now, it's again. And then now, if, let's say, I can try and work out with this, what is it that I'm going to do now? Can you see that I can still, you know, group this and square that, right? Now, for an example, if I group this, this is same as what? Remember, this is same as N plus 1 squared. Now, it's again. So which means this is same as n plus one all bracket squared, all right? So basically now that's what, or rather that's how you can be in a position uh, to show that the tnth value of this particular sequence, it is given by n plus one. Now, again, now I'm hoping that you are, you know, you're in a position to understand these type of question in terms of what does it really require from you? Now, they are saying an athlete runs along a straight line. His distance covered from a fixed point on the road is measured at uh, time n and has a what? And has a form of dn is equal to an squared plus bn plus c, right? Now, they are saying the distance, it is recorded uh, in the table below. So, the first thing that they require us to do is they want us to find out what is going to be the value of your r and also what is going to be the value of your s, right? Now, so what is the best way of finding out what is your r and then what is your x, right? So which means here they are actually looking for uh, for the next, I think this is the fifth and the sixth, uh, or the 60th term, right? So what is that you're having here? If let's say we can, I can write this pattern here, you're having 10, you are, uh, or rather you're having 17, you are having 10, you are having five, you are having two, then you are having R, then you are having six, right? Now, however, if I can do my first difference here, then the, the first difference that I'm having here, this is same as negative seven, this is same as negative five, this is same as negative three, right? And if I'm doing my second difference here, I'm going to find out what this is two, and I'm also going to find out this as two, which means this is going to increase by two. And as this is increasing by 2, then this is going to be same as negative 1, right? And then negative 1, right? And now negative, when you say, uh, now, you what? when you say 2 subtract negative 1, what is it that you're going to have here, right? Uh, then here, this is going to be same as, uh, this is same as your 1, out again. So what you're going to have here, this is going to be same as your 1. And then now moving swiftly along, what is that you're having here? Uh, what is it that you're going to have here? This is same as what? This is same as uh, positive one, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, because this is same as negative uh, one uh, plus two, which is going to give you positive one. Then when you say one uh, plus, uh, this is same as one plus one, what is it that you're going to get? Then you're going to find out that the next term is going to be number two, right? Or another term two. How to get? So basically now that is going to be the value of your R and also that is going to be the value of your S. Now they want us to determine in terms of what is going to be the value of your A 
B and also you C, right? Now, which means basically here they're looking to find us, they're looking for us to find out what is the TN of the sequence, right? So the first way of finding the TN of the sequence, we are going to just use the normal way that we know, right? Uh, now, for an example, what is that I can do? I can start by taking this, this two, right? And say I equate this two by two A, which means this is same as two A is equals to two, which means the value of your eight same as one, right? Then I come back, I equate this by 3a plus b, right? So which means now the second one, this is same as 3a plus b is equal to negative 7. So which means this is 3, where there is a, I write my 1 plus b is equal to negative 7, which means then now my uh, coordinates for b, that is going to be same as negative 10. Then now when I'm looking for my a, my b, and also my c, uh, what is that I'm going to equate it? This I'm going to equate it to 17, right? So which means obviously this one, the 17 one is always equated by A plus B plus C. How to get? Then now from here, we're then going to group and see in terms of what is that you are going to have. Now the value of your A, it is one. Uh, then the value of your B, it's negative 10 plus your C, it's same as 17. So which means now the value of your C that you are going to end up having here, it is going to be same as 26, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because this is same as 1 subtract uh, 10, which is same as negative 9. Then 17 plus 9 gives you 26. Once again, so basically that is how we are going to go about in finding, right? That's how we are going to do in finding the value of your A, your B, and also your C, right? So which means the TN here it is given by uh, N squared minus 10N plus 26, out again. So basically now that's going to be the value of your TN for this particular question, right? Now let's move swiftly along and see in terms of what else uh, it is required from us here. Now they are saying now, how far is the outlet uh, from P when N is a cost what? When N is a cost to 8, which means now they, want, they are looking for the T of 8. Out again. So then now when you are doing for the T of 8, what is that you're going to have? Or rather your DN of 8. So you're going to say this of 8, it's same as what? This was N squared, right? Let me just now write it here. Now where there is N, you write the 8. So this is same as 8 squared, subtract 10 into 8 plus, I think this is 26, if I'm not mistaken, yes? Plus 26. Then the T of 8 is going to be same as what? Now, which means the run is going to be same as 100, or rather, this is going to be same as 10 meters. Oh, it's okay. Right? So that's going to be basically the time, or rather, that's going to be the distance that is going to be right. right? Now, they say, Mi Michaela claims that uh, the pattern will uh, have a, what will have a minimum value. Uh, now, they say, Jack claims that the pattern will have a what? Will not have the minimum value. Now, they say, who is correct? Now, support your answer with uh, your correct calculations. Now, what is that you're going to do? Now, I want us to think of this. And whenever they refer to a minimum or a maximum value, I want us to just think of our, right? Whenever they mention those, I want us to think of our turning point. Remember the turning point here. If you are having, let's say, a smiling face graph, here you are going to have this as the minimum point. And then if you're having a frowning face graph, this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as maximum point, right? Remember this equation here, it's still the same as your what? This is still, it's the same as your parabola graph, right? Now, so what is the first thing then that you're going to do now from here? Then you're going to look in terms of what is going to be your turning point here, right? Now we are going to firstly say you are going to have the minimum turning point uh turning point why because already the value of your n here it is greater than zero which care which means this is going to be the smiling face graph right if we had to draw it in terms of graph then now we can calculate in terms of what is going to be that turning point then we can say n is also negative this is negative b over 2a right remember whenever we are looking for the turning point so this is same as negative into negative 10 divide by 2 into what is going to be the value of your a there now, the value of your A that you're having here, it's 1, right? So, which means then the value of your N here, it's going to be same as uh, when N is a cost to what? When N is a cost to 5, I think, right? And then now, what is that we are doing now? Remember, they say, uh, 
now will the pattern have a max, uh, minimum value, right? So which means now, yes, we are going to say now it will only have a minimum value when n is equal to 5 or n is going to be greater than what? Or when n is equal to greater than uh, 0. And then now, which means in this case, Michaela is the one that is correct altogether. Oh, so which means then Michaela is correct in this context altogether, oh, right? So basically, that's what you are going to have in here as far as these questions are concerned, right? Hopefully, all of this makes sense and you can be in a position to answer all these questions that may follow. Thank you very much for listening.